Good evening. Welcome to our evening prayer service here at Beautiful Savior in SeaTac, Washington. As we take time to close the end of the day, hearing God's word, lifting up our voices in praise, and responding to this day with prayer. For we know that God hears us. He is there for us wherever we are at, and we can always call upon him. Tonight, in our time of evening prayer, we will be working through both Psalm 4 and Colossians chapter 3. Let us take a moment to quiet our hearts and prepare ourselves for evening prayer. O Lord, open our lips. And our mouth shall declare your praise. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be be to to the the Father, Father, and to the the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and and ever shall be, world without without end. end. Amen. Amen. Give praise to the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. We turn now for our first song for the evening. As we turn to Psalm number four, we lift up our voices, remembering that God is there for us. He is the one that is there in all times of need. We read responsively. Answer me when I call to you, my righteous God. Give me relief from my distress. Have mercy on me and hear my prayer. How long will you people turn my glory into shame? How long will you love delusions and seek false gods? Know that the Lord has set his faithful servant for himself. The Lord hears when I call to him. Tremble and do not sin. When you are on your beds, search your hearts and be silent. Offer the sacrifices of the righteous and trust in the Lord. Many, Lord, are asking, who will bring us prosperity? Let the light of your face shine on us. Fill my heart with joy, 
when, when their grain and new wine abound. In peace I will lie down and sleep, for you alone, Lord, make me dwell in safety. Glory for be to, to the, the Father, Father, and to the, the Son, and, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as, as it was, was in the beginning, beginning is now, now and, and will, will be forever. forever. Amen. Amen. We turn now to Colossians chapter 3. Colossians chapter 3, starting at verse 1. If then you have been raised with Christ, seek the things that are above, where Christ is seated at the right hand of God. Set your mind on things that are above, not on things that are on the earth. For you have died, and your life is hidden with Christ in God. When Christ, who is your life, appears, then you also will appear with him in glory. Put to death, therefore, what is earthly in you, sexual immorality, impurity, passion, evil desire, and covetedness, which is idolatry. On account of these, the wrath of God is coming. In these, you too once walked, when you were living in them, but now you must put them all away, anger, wrath, malice, slander, and obscene talk from your mouth. Do not lie to one another, seeing that you have put off the old self with its practices, and have put on the new self, which is being renewed in knowledge after the image of its creator. Here there is not Greek and Jew, circumcised and uncircumcised, barbarian, Scythian, slave, free, but Christ is all and in all. Let us confess our faith using the words of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us turn now to a time of prayer. If you have prayer requests that you would like to include in our weekly evening prayers, you can always let us know through our email or through contact with the church. Let us pray. Merciful Father, you continue to guide us guiding us through the work of your Holy Spirit. You have brought us again to the completion of a day. We turn to you as we come to a time of rest, as we turn to our houses, as we come to a place of quiet, that we would lift up our burdens, that we would look to you as the one who is in charge, that in this time we would see your peace. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Merciful God, we look upon you and ask that you would continue to be our light in the midst of darkness, that you would let the light of Christ continue to shine bright in this church, that you would let those of faith continue to be light to those around them, the light that came down from above. Keep us holding fast to that faith that we just confessed, the faith that was given to us, the faith that was proclaimed, the faith we were baptized in the faith of your one and only Son. Help us, Lord, 
that we would obtain eternal life, not through our merits, but through you. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Almighty, eternal, everlasting God, your mercies are great, so great that you sent your Son, Jesus Christ, that you have granted us forgiveness of all sins, that you have given us eternal life, a life where we are called to godliness. Send upon us your Holy Spirit so that we might live our lives according to your rule, that we might be mindful of your mercy, that we might continue on in that faith that you have given to us, knowing that you have overcome the world, that we can serve you in all holiness and all pureness and continue on being Christ to our neighbor. We give you thanks for that goodness that the Holy Spirit continues to bring and ask that we would continue on following you. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. O oh God, we give you thanks, even in the midst of times of ungodliness, in the times of injustice, in the times where we ask, how long, O oh Lord? For we know that death is not the answer. We know that injustice is not the answer, but we know that you are the one who has sent heavenly aid, that you are our shield, our protection, and that you are with your servant. We ask that you would continue to be with those that feel like they are separated from you. Let no temptation draw us away from you. Let us serve you without ceasing. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray, Lord, for those that are going through times of distress, whether this be coming on through times of sorrow, pains, loss, weakness, illnesses, afflictions of both the body and of the spirit. We lift up to you those that are on our prayer list, including Bob, Floyd, Dorothy Wardeman's brother, Spencer's father, We lift up Willard. We lift up Doug and Sherry. We lift up all of those that are on our hearts and on our minds. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. As we continue in this pandemic, we pray, Lord, that if it be your will, that it would come to an end. We pray for those that continue to work on finding a cure. We continue to pray for those that work in hospitals, those that continue to be essential first responders, those that continue to be medical hands of healing for those in need. We lift up those that are afflicted in more ways than we can ever imagine by this pandemic. For families that can no longer meet, for friends that have been distant, for the economy, for those that are dealing with underemployment. And we pray, Lord, that instead of being overburdened, we would lift up our burdens to you. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And as we come to a close this day, Lord, remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We continue with our reading from Colossians chapter 3. Colossians chapter 3, starting at verse 12. Put on then, as God's chosen ones, holy and beloved, compassionate hearts, kindness, humility, meekness, and patience, bearing with one another, And if one has a complaint against another, forgiving each other, as the Lord has forgiven you, so you also must forgive. And also, 
All these put on love, which binds everything together in perfect harmony. And let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts, to which indeed you were called one body, and be thankful. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly, teaching and admonishing one another in all wisdom, singing psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, with thankfulness in your hearts to God. And whatever you do in word or deed, do everything in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him. We pray responsively. O Lord, show us your unfailing love. And grant us your salvation. O Lord, Hear our call. And mercifully hear us when we call upon thee. O Lord, save your people. And bless your inheritance. Give peace in our time, O Lord. There is no one but you, God, that fights for us. O God, cast me not away from your presence. And take not your Holy Spirit from me. We sing our next song of praise for the evening. Colossians chapter 3, starting at verse 18. Wives, submit to your husband as it is fitting in the Lord. Husbands, love your wives and do not be harsh with them. Children, obey your parents in everything, for this pleases the Lord. Fathers, do not provoke your children lest they become discouraged. 
bond servants, obey in everything those who are your earthly masters, not by the way of eye service as people pleasers, but with security of heart, fearing the Lord. Whatever you do, work heartily as for the Lord and not for men, knowing that from the Lord you will receive the inheritance as your reward. You are serving the Lord Christ. For the wrongdoer will be paid back for the wrong he has done, and there is no partiality. In peace we lie down and sleep. For you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. Abide with us, Lord Jesus. For the night is at hand, and the day is now past. As the night watch looks for the morning, so do we look for you, O Christ. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face to you and give to you his peace. Amen. As we close, we rest in that peace of Christ. Rest in God's peace as we join together praying Luther's evening prayer. I thank Thank you, you, my my Heavenly Heavenly Father, Father, through Jesus Jesus Christ, Christ, your dear dear Son, that you you have graciously kept me this day, and I pray that you would forgive me all my sins where I have done wrong, and graciously keep me this night. For into your hands I commend myself, my body and soul and all things. Let your holy angel be with me, that the evil foe may have no power over me. Amen. God's peace and blessings on your evening.